Welcome to Susan's Garden. One of my favorite flowers when I was growing up was one that my mother grew in her garden. It was the columbine. And I think what attracted me was the uniqueness of the color combination. You had the rods, which are the, the darker purple here, and the spurs, which are usually come in cream or white or a pale yellow. And it was such a unique coloration of, of Mother Nature that I was in all of it and couldn't wait to replicate it in paper. The dyes that you need for this flower all come in the seed packet. You'll have your rods and then your other petals, the spurs. The calyx and the stamen are combined and I'll show you why that's necessary. And then you have your leaves. Let's take the, the calyx and the stamen first. You will have to die cut it out of white paper because it's necessary to get the two colors that you need. I've, I've already colored one side here with the yellow for the stamen and the green for the calyx. Let's flip it over and finish coloring. I'm going to add some more coloring, the same yellow with the Copic marker on the stamen, which is in yellow. And then for the green calyx, color that line all the way down because as you roll it together it it shows on both sides so it's very important to do that. What I've also done on this one is cut the the filaments apart like I do so many times because I want a fringier stamen to it. Usually when I roll a piece I'll attach my tweezers to one end and then put a little bit of glue on the other but this is a little bit unique. It's quite a long roll that you're going to be doing so I'm not only going to put where it's going to end up which is at the green end here but I'm going to all along the, the line there I'm going to add a little bit of glue in places just so I make sure I get a nice tight roll and you'll want that too because it, it really gives you a good base to set your flowers on. Now if you start with the yellow end because you want your calyx or your stamen on the inside, start rolling and I, I just place my piece right on my index finger of my opposite hand and I roll it down the side. And see that little bit of glue is helping to adhere it right around, just making it a really nice tight roll. So you've got your yellow stamen and then you've got your, your calyx on the outside. Now you can go ahead and lightly dip this in the glue and then take it over to your, to your pollen and let's add some, some deeper yellow pollen to the ends. And we'll just set that on our non-stick pad to dry a second while we work on the petals. The rods and the spurs are treated two different ways. If you notice, I've added the, the coloration that you see that's so unique about the columbine. It's that deep purple in the throat of the spur. So on your cream color, your, your white or your light color, place it on the nonstick mat and I'm going to use a little bit of the pan pastels in a deep purple because that's the shape of my, my rods and I'm going to just rub in that color right into the center and it gives it that deep look that you see on your petal. The petal is placed on the molding mat and using your leaf tool. Now this is a little bit smaller piece so I'm going to use the smaller end of the leaf tool and then I'm going to again from the wide part of the petal to the center I'm going to shape that petal pulling down and I'll do that on all five petals that are the spurs. The other thing you want to do is I, where the little filament of that spur hangs down, using your leaf tool, you drag a line right down the center. It helps bend it up a bit and you can even use your fingers to do that. Just so it gives a definition line and gives a little bit of dimension into that spur. Now use your tweezers and you're going to put the small end right in the center there and with your opposite hand pinch around it just like we do with our pinching technique. And then holding that pinch, you're going to bend each one of the outer part of the petal downward. But you've got that nice 
cupped in look and that shading going down the throat of the petal that you need. Now the way this is put together is the rod of the flower is all in one piece. Place it right side down on your molding pad and using that small end again from the smaller end of the petal towards the smaller center, go around each petal pressing and pulling towards it. That gives a lot of shape to that petal. You can see it there as it almost cups it up. Placing it back on your mat and using the small ball stylus, let's cup it so you get even more shape to it. Now this actually sits under your calyx. So we're going to place a little bit of glue right into that, that calyx that we formed. And we're gonna set it in place use it here on our non-stick pad because we don't want to get glue over here. So I've set that in place as shown. And then each one of these spurs, the easiest way to do this since, let's see, here's the, here's the finished one. You see how they curl up anyway. You can bend them back up for, for purposes to get them out of your way, but then take the glue on a toothpick and applying just a little bit of glue right there before the filament comes down. And between every other petal here, you're gonna place a spur, just so. And so you've got five petals to go around until you get five done. And that pretty much makes your flower. You've got the two sets of petals, and then you can set it on your on your project and the way I've added the leaves, I've taken them over here to the leaf pad and I've added not only the stem line on the underneath side and accentuated it with some, I've bent the, each one of those areas and I've accentuated it with a little bit of, of the pan pastels just so you can really see that stem line. And then I've placed it back on the mat and used my leaf tool to add some veining to either side. And then you can pinch it. And then you can bend out the edges as shown. Now, once your project is set in place and you can just add some glue right under the section here and press it down as I've done on this one and then tuck your leaves underneath and you've got a beautiful woodland piece to add to your project.